Hello and welcome. Today I'm going to explain a little bit more about our product filter tool that you have access to whenever you purchase the inventory automation service with us here at Inventory Source. As you can see for this specific integration, I'm going to jump down into our filter rules tab to filter out what products I do and do not want to sell using this product filter tool. As you can see, we give you two options for filtering out products, what you do and do not want to sell. You can make an exclusive list of the specific products that you do not want to sell, as well as doing an inclusive list for the products that you do want to sell. As you can see here, we have a couple exclusions already made. We do not want to sell these two products. You can make exclusions by searching the SKU here in the search bar and adding the exclusion. You can also browse the catalog for the specific supplier, as well as doing a bulk SKU file upload for making exclusions of products you do not want to sell. As I click here, I can switch to an inclusive list. Most people use this inclusive list um, due to the fact that some suppliers sell thousands and thousands of products and you only want to sell about, say for example, 100 to 200 to 300 SKUs or products. You can come in here, search by SKU, add the inclusive. You can also browse the catalog or do a bulk SKU file upload for this specific inclusive list. Once you switch back to an exclusive list and show that you can exclude by brand. So as you can come in here, you can click on which brand you do not want to sell. We also provide additional exclusion options. You can exclude products out without images. You can exclude MAP or minimum advertising price products. You can also exclude products below or above a certain MSRP. You can also exclude products below or above a certain weight. You can also exclude products that have below a certain quantity available. This is a really cool tool and override that you can do just to ensure that you are not running into any bad customer experiences before your update has been run. Kind of gives you a safety net of, um, you know, I'm not going to sell products below the quantity of two um, just to ensure that I'm selling um, in stock items. This is our product filter tool on our product filter rules tab. You can also exclude products out by uh, categories. Whenever you click on this category tab, which is the category mapping tool, as you can see here, you can exclude products by parent categories or subcategories. I'll dive in a little bit more into that in our category mapping tool video. Whenever I want to test the price and filter rules that I have set, as you can see, I grabbed the SKU of this specific product that we excluded out, came in here and searched the SKU, and as you can see here, it will not show on our site because we have made that exclusive list for this specific SKU. What's also cool is it shows a little story about how the price is being applied for using this specific tab.